Hello and welcome to Let's Play Wonder Boy on the Sega Master System. Um, this is the first Wonder Boy game in the series. Um, it's completely different from the other three. There are no swords and um, dragons and shops and things. It's uh, just a side scroller arcade sort of game. Um, we die first time from touching anything except rocks and and our vitality or health goes down on its own and you have to and you have to pick up bits of fruit to replenish it. Um, this is the demo. Um, the plot of the game is um, an evil king has kidnapped um, uh, uh, your girlfriend Tanya and you have to go and rescue her. Um, the character's name is Tom Tom, who upon completing the quest um, earns the title of Wonder Boy. Um, there are 40 levels in total. Um, these are split up into 10 areas, each with 4 rounds each. Um, you can beat the game after 9 areas, but if you manage to, to collect every single um, doll on every round, uh, all 36 of them, you get to you get to go to the 10th area, in which there are also dolls, but you don't have to collect them, but I will anyway. Um, they, uh, they become increasingly difficult to find, um, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, so, um, without further ado, I'll play the game now. So, um, it's a title screen. And, um, original game Sega Escape 1986. Escape later changed its name to West One, who made the other Wonder Boy games. Um, I just pause it there. Um, yeah, so this is, this is the start. Um, in each round, uh, there are four checkpoints, and if you die, you start at the last checkpoint. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll play the game now. I forgot to mention that I'm going to split this video series up into three videos. First four areas on the first video, next three areas on the next video, and last three areas on the last video. So let's play Wonder Boy. Um, yeah. Holding button one m means that you jump higher and run a bit faster. That's the hatchets. Yeah, so you usually like to hold button one most of the time. You can throw two hatchets at a time. Um, you only lose the hatchet if you um, if you die. You have infinite of them. Touching a rock makes you lose two points of vitality. Touching anything else, like an enemy or a projectile, will um, uh, that will kill you. Right, this is a handbag, it's a warp gate, one in each area, so ten in total. Changes each time, the next warp gate is a pair of sunglasses. Unknown red-headed girl will transport you to a cloud area where you collect hearts for extra vitality, and I think points, I'm not so sure. Just in case there are points, I usually like to collect them all. If you drop down, you end up back at the last checkpoint. If you get a handbag, or you know another warp gate, you'll be transported back to your last checkpoint, or one of the checkpoints ahead of you, so in this case either 2, 3 or 4, depending on the handbag you pick up. This handbag transports me to checkpoint 3. Um, I want to show you the whole um, level though, so I'm going to drop down to my last checkpoint. Skateboard. You can't completely come to a stop with the skateboard, but you can slow yourself down by pressing left, speed up by pressing right, and going at normal speed like that. You still throw your hatchets. Um, it makes you invincible for one hit. Um, you have to touch an enemy to get off it. There's no other way off it. You have to touch the enemy and kill it. Or a rock or something. It makes it destroys anything. Flame, rock, enemy, anything. Jump over the boulder. Alright, this is invincible. Your your guardian angel kills everything. There's there's no bonus for getting to the end of the level with a skateboard or your guardian angel. Um, although if you have a skateboard, I mean, you should start the next level with a skateboard, which is pretty annoying. There's the first doll. Be sure to get that. If you don't get, if you get the doll, then die and return there. The, the, in its place will be a hibiscus flower worth 500 points. Um, that's it. That's the first level done. and your remaining health is multiplied by 300 and energy score so you have 16 maximum health and um, 
and uh, that multiplied by 300 is 4800, so 4800 maximum. And if you ha and if you got the doll, you get the same score again. So if you've got 2100 for the health, you get 2100 again. But I got um, whatever it is I got multiplied again. You know, I got the skateboard, which is a bit silly for this level, but I couldn't really avoid it, so I got the skateboard. Just yeah, it's best not to have it for a level like this. Avoid it if you can. That's it. Try to get rid of it now. Good. There we go. That's uh, invincible again. Yeah, the uh, um, the first doll to be hidden is the one on uh, area two, round four. Until then, you can see them all. Although not every doll after area two, round four is hidden. Um, most of them aren't, I think. But you know, that's the first one that, that comes. Uh, new life at 30,000 points, and I think 100,000 after that. I can't remember when you get a life after 100,000. Right. Here's round three. Don't get the skateboard. Yeah, uh, here are bats. Eventually they start flying a uh, little bit lower than normal. And uh, it means that they're harder to get because your hatchet will go over them. It's really annoying, the, the little dirty trick they do. Uh, that the game designers put in. Just avoid skateboards on this level, you you don't want them. If there's a doll hidden in one of the rocks, the hatchet will go through it. That's how you, that's how you know that the uh, that the doll is hidden inside a rock. The hatchet will go through it instead of um, bouncing off. Uh, you don't want that. Yeah, the ice is slippery. You don't want that. That's a skateboard. There we go, skateboard. Okay, there's a thing coming up. Yeah, here it is. Speckled egg. Don't open it. it as uh, the god of death in it. It causes your. Um, it's not invincible, but the opposite. It causes your uh, vitality to be depleted more quickly, and so you'll probably die. Although, if you manage to get it later in the level and you finish the level with it, you you you'll get a thousand point bonus for finishing the level with it, which isn't really worth it. But yeah, there's no bonus for um, finishing the level with the uh, guardian angel. Or, or the skateboard. On, only if you have the God of Death. Yeah, don't get that egg, that's a skateboard. Um, and you won't be able to get the uh, uh, the doll very easily, if at all. So avoid that. And there's a goal. So, so we have another life now. Now there are infinite continues in this game, but if you lose a continue you have to start at the first round of the area you were on, which can be pretty annoying. You lose your score and everything, which isn't really a problem, but yeah, you know, that's that's just how it works. Yeah, the music for round four is always this. Um yeah, the boss music is always the same except for the boss the the fourth and eighth bosses have different music for some reason. I do not know why. Right, some milk. Yeah, the milk will replenish your health all the way up to the top. Which is very nice. That's a Sega letter that you have to jump to make them appear. If you manage to spell out S, E, G and A with them in that order, you will um, get an extra life apparently, but they give you a thousand points. Um, if you miss the S, the next letter you find, if you do find one, will be an S, so you have to get them in the Sega order. Just be patient with this game. If you get frustrated and try to rush through it, you, you will be punished. 
Right, if when you pass the flower, a coyote will come. If the coyote jumps, it means if you kill it with hatchets, not with an invincible, you will get a letter. Get the letter and you get 500 points. It's a bit weird, but that's just how it is. So jump, and then try to get it. No, I just missed it. It um, doesn't matter too much, but if you do manage, if you, if you do manage to get, it's quite tricky to get. You know, a letter will appear, and it's, if you get the letter, you get 500 points. I don't know why, what significance it has. If you didn't, if you lost a life, you didn't have a hatchet for the boss. They'll give you one just for that gap there. Right, uh, the first boss needs eight hits. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then you see the, its next form. It only starts shooting if it gets all the way to the left. The next boss and all subsequent bosses need an extra two hits. The next boss will need ten, then twelve, then f fourteen, etc. You know, that's the end of the first area. Um, on to area two. Here's area two then. That's a mushroom. It looks poisonous, but it isn't. It's uh, it's good. If you get the mushroom, every bit of fruit you pick up will give you 500 points. Uh, incidentally, um, different fruit will give you different points and different amounts of vitality back. Um, bananas and apples will give you one point and um, um, 50 points. It will give you one point of vitality and 50 points. Whereas um, melons, green melons or whatever they are, and um, will give you 500 points. Uh, no, 200 points, sorry, and carrots will give you 100 points, but both give you 2 points of vitality back. But everything's now giving me 500 um, as a default, because I have uh, uh, a mushroom. It's invincible. That's a tuna fish. Yeah, those octopuses are very similar to the ones in Wonder Boy and Monster Land. It's probably where uh, this is where they originate, probably. Yeah, I don't know what that bit of fruit is. I think it's a melon or something. It says it in the manual. Anyway. Oh, I've got maximum for that one. Another mushroom. If you didn't have a hatchet, that would be a hatchet. The first egg you see most of the time, if you don't have a hatchet, will be a hatchet. But uh, I have a hatchet, so it was a mushroom, something else. Sometimes if you have a hatchet and you have a skateboard, and what would normally give you a skateboard, it, it, it will be a mushroom. So it's, if you have a hatchet, it's a skateboard, and if you have a skateboard, it'll give you a mushroom. So a mushroom is, is the limit of um, that equation. Right, um... Not really an equation, but you know what I mean. Right, um... Right, so they sort of remind me of the skulls from... Yeah, the lost souls from Doom, but they're blue. They don't sort of fly at you. Right, there's, uh, there's the doll. Yeah, the first doll to be hidden is in, um... Is in the fourth round of, uh, this area. So we'll, uh, we'll look forward to that. Won't we? Quickly, that's it. The warp gate is in round three. Yeah, I don't really remember where the uh, the Sega letters are. The only thing I memorise in this game is where the warp gates and the dolls are. I've, I've memorised them off by heart, which is a little bit sad, I know, but uh, I, I practised a lot. That was close. I practised a lot uh, for this playthrough, which is why I'm able to do it without losing a life. And if you try hard, you could be as good as I am. Right. Yeah, I nearly died on that flame. <laughs> right. Yeah, I never bothered to remember where the Sega letters are. They're not important. Only the, only the dolls and the warp gates are, in my opinion. Nearly died on that flame. I can't believe it. 
Ooh, nearly 100,000. At 100,000, we get... Um, oh, now at 100,000. Yeah, we get an extra life. I don't know when we get an extra life after 100,000. I think it might be 170,000 for some reason. Here's round three. Um, this one has a warp gate on it. I don't want that. There's no time limit, no rush. The only rush you have is your vitality. So if you, if you want to get fruit, get it. Because it will replenish your vitality. So, um, yeah. No, I don't want that. I'm just trying to remember where the... Uh, yeah, I know where the warp gate is. Yeah, it's just coming up. Past this frog. Yeah, it's a pair of sunglasses just in here. There we are. Uh, so I'll be falling down this one as well. Even though... Um, yeah, the, the the doll is on air is on is in the fourth section, but uh, I never want to use the uh, the warp gate to warp back because I don't want to skip any of the uh, level. I want to show you all of the level, so I just get all the, the hearts and then I'll drop down. There we go. Don't know why I've got a skateboard, but I have one. Try and lose it now. Good, there we go. Oh, oh. So that's a job with a skateboard. It'll throw you forward like that. Maybe threw me forward onto that enemy. Coal kid. Yeah, um, are the dollars in plain view? Just do a big jump over that. There we are. There it is. There she is. I don't know whether the doll is supposed to look like your girlfriend. You know, it has the same colour hair. I mean, I don't know whether that's, you know, a coincidence or whether they did it on purpose. Must be on purpose. Gets me every time, that rock. So we're now coming up to the... Uh, um, uh, the boss. This is the first round in which the um, uh, the doll is hidden. So, um, yeah, the first time I did this, I found it by accident, and uh, I imagine most people did uh, did the same. Just be patient with the spiders. Some of them go lower than others. Just be patient with them. It's not worth dying over them and trying to rush through. It really isn't. It's really annoying if you die on this, especially losing a continue, having to start the whole area again. Alright, this one doesn't jump. So, and if it doesn't jump and you kill it, it means you uh, won't get the letter. I mean, it doesn't drop a letter. Actually, it might drop a letter if you get it when it's ahead of you, I don't know. If you get it when it's behind you, I don't think it drops a letter. The ones that jump never, um, they never drop if your letter if you get them from behind, I think. Anyway, yeah, if you got, jump on that one from the spring, you'll accidentally get the doll there, but there we are. Just touch the rock, it won't hurt you. Um, and if you tested the thing out, you'll see that the um, the hatchet goes through the rock that has the doll in it, so that's how you can know. But you can't do it to all of them, it wastes too much time and vitality, so... Uh, well, the, the, your vitality will go down while you're testing all the rocks, so it's just best if you, uh, if you just learn where they are, really. Anyway. Anyway, that, that should drop a letter. There we go. So that's 500 for the letter. I don't know what, why it's a letter or why it drops a letter. I do not know. It's just absolutely bizarre and random. Again, if you didn't have a hatchet, one would be just about here somewhere. This one should need 10 hits. One, two... Only start shooting when it gets all the way to the left. Well, about four fists to the left, uh, I, I should say. Anyway, that's the end of area two. Just one short of maximum. Here's the third area. The warp gate is just at the start. And the doll is also in the first section. 
So if you skip the first section with the warp gate, you yeah, you should get the doll automatically and um, complete the level and um, find that you've already gotten it. Sometimes this won't happen though, I think either because of a glitch or it might be because if you lose a life, uh, it puts the doll back. Either way, I, I can't risk not getting it, so, um, so I can't skip the section. I have to get the doll manually. It's really frustrating when you... Uh, uh, when, when you do the end of the level and you think you should have gotten the uh, the doll and you haven't. Um, the doll is just here. If you throw a hatchet at that rock, you see it doesn't break, showing you it's not a real rock. It's, it's a foolproof way of testing it, but um, it's best to memorise where they are because you can't test every rock. And you'll waste, you know, um, time and therefore vitality and, you know, Big jump. That's it. Don't touch the rock. There we are. A right, bit of a um, leap of faith coming up because we have to, um, you know, we have to jump when we can't see the platform ahead. Usually, what I like to do is just jump the third time the platform goes to the right, and then I always seem to make it. So that's one, two, and then three. Here we go. That's it. And just be patient for the rest of the jumps. Don't worry about those bananas. There's no fruit in the last section, so just hurry hurry up. Now, there's an annoying bat there on one of these platforms, just be careful. It's sort of camouflaged. Here it is. Just jump over it. And that's it. Round two. It's first appearance of the bees. Um, don't get that skateboard. You might go into a bee. Um, it's best to kill them here. Other times it's best to jump over them. There we go. You didn't really see them very well there, but you know they were there. Alright, get this skateboard. It's quite useful. Um, Although, you want to lose it before the end of the level, otherwise you'll start the next level with the skateboard and you don't want to do that, trust me. So get rid of it like that. There we go. Start the next level with a skateboard makes it very awkward. Yeah, you don't want that one. Also, you might miss the doll if you have a skateboard as well, so don't uh, so don't get that skateboard. Sit. Right, that's an invincible. So off we go. With a skateboard, you'll be able to kill more, but it's not worth it because there's no way of losing the skateboard if you're invincible. And you don't want the skateboard for the next level. And you still manage to kill everything anyway. Yeah, because it doesn't get rid of the skateboard. If you had one uh, finishing level, you have one on the next level. It's really annoying. Here's uh, round three then. So you don't want a skateboard on this one at all. Luckily that's a, a mushroom. <laughs> so you're trying to lose your skateboard on these octopuses, it might sort of throw you in with the momentum through you in the water, which is uh, annoying. That's it. Yeah, usually I usually like to get rid of the skateboard on that snail that was there, that I just killed. And the flickery ones mean they're going to do something. Alright, uh, 
um, if you kill the coyote with um, yeah with the invincible, you don't get the uh, you, you don't get the letter. I, I tried not to do it, but it landed on me. I just tried to get it in front of me so I could kill it with the hatchet. That's it. You only get the letter if you kill the coyote with the hatchet. Right. There's no fruit now, so I just want to hurry up and get to the end. Get, get the doll. There's a bee here somewhere. Oh no, no there wasn't. thought there might be a bee there. Sometimes there's a bee there, I think. Must, must have killed it by accident. Here's round four. This is a bit nasty, this level. There's a nasty little obstacle here, which is very difficult to avoid a speckled egg, meaning you'll get the god of death. It's very annoying. Um, I'll try to avoid it, but it's not the end of the world if you do get it. Just rush through the level as quick as you, as you, as you can and, and keep going fruit until, uh, until it disappears. Yeah, uh, the doll is also hidden. Get that. Some milk. Uh, this one doesn't jump, so just kill it there, like that. I think if you get it when it's behind you, it doesn't drop a letter as well. I think if you let it go over you, then kill it. I think it will go under you. It might give you a letter. Don't know, though. Oop. Right. Yeah, here it is. There's three rocks and a speckled egg. Um, try to jump all the way over it like that. Good, manage it. Because that speckled egg is really annoying. Because it's very difficult not to lose all your health with it. It's a very annoying speckled egg. You have to do a perfect jump with the spring. Right. No, that's not the one. Oh, I didn't get the letter. Yeah, here it is, yeah. That's the one with the doll in it, so I, I hit the wrong one. Yeah, I think that thing didn't give me a letter. I think it must be because it was nearly out of the screen or something, I don't know. Yeah, so here's the, uh, here's the third boss. Should need 12 hits. There we go. That's the end of the uh, third area. On to the fourth one. Here's the fourth area. It's much more difficult than the previous ones. Some new enemies and, um, and some volcanoes to avoid. All kill you first time as, as ever. I hate those flies and the falling chestnuts. They're very difficult enemies. Well, the chestnuts aren't really that bad on their own, but with the flies they are. Oh. You have to... You know, you have to... Um, s skate a, a thin line between... Uh, activating them and being able to hit them from afar. Right, get the skateboard because it gives you an extra hit for the uh, for the volcanoes. That's it, just go now, that's it. There's two more. That's it. And then get rid of your skateboard, you don't need it now. Um, uh, the doll is just there. Right, back to flies and chestnuts. I think they're chestnuts anyway. Take your time. Fly coming up. Alright, another volcano. Running out of health. Alright. Watch for the pattern, that's it. And just go for it when you can. Try to follow the pattern. It's close. Alright, one more. 
Right, that'll do. That was lucky. Really do not like those volcanoes. Right pain in the ass. Alright, here's round two. This is where the um this is where the bats um start flying low. Um not yet, but they do in this level. Yeah, this these ones, yeah. They start off a bit uh, slightly lower as well. Another one. Trying to remember where the doll is. I think I know. Moves towards the end in a rock. Some milk. Yeah, it's not even that one, it's in the next one, that's it. Yeah, in, in there. There you go. Just touch it, there we go. Jump over them. And go. Come on, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. The warp gate is in the next uh, round. Here's um, round three. It's, uh, it's a new area, um, um, a desert at night. Some new enemies on this as well. Um, some are easy, some not. The bees are back as well. Warp gate is on here, and the the doll is easy to find. Yeah, the uh, scorpions and jumping green lizards are okay. There's the doll, nice and easy. That's what we like. Yeah, bees. All right, there's the eagle. It's important to remember that it, it drops the pebble on you slightly before you, so you don't have to worry about being hit as long as you don't move. But you can kill them anyway. Here's the warp gate. Tempted to skip a section or two here, but uh, but I won't because I want to show you the whole level. We'll just, we'll just grab all the hearts just in case they give me give me points. But I don't. I'm not entirely sure if they do give you points. You know, they might just give you vitality, so they could be useless if you already have maximum vitality. But you have to grab another warp gate in order to skip a section. Yeah, just remember that they drop the uh, the pebbles slightly before you. It's important to remember that so you don't panic because they're on the next level as well. And they're more awkward on the next level because you know there are gaps to fall down. It's a nice little introduction to the eagles here, I think. And yeah, we don't want that. Can't reach that. Oh. There we are. I hate these things. Alright, um, 
jump over all these bees and ignore the fruit. Yeah, there's the last two, then get the carrot. And some more lizards. Scorpion, and that's it. That's the end of the end of the round. Right, and it's on to round four. Oh, maximum health. Right, round four next. Then that'll be the end of this video, I think. Here's round four. As I said earlier, this uh, area, of areas four and eight, have uh, the, uh, the boss music is different for some reason, and they occur in the clouds. I don't know why. This one is actually quite tricky. There's, uh, there's bees, and there's uh, lots of other annoying enemies, and of course the clouds as well, which is quite tricky. Uh, at least the doll is nice and easy to get. Alright, this is the, uh, the eagles come here. Just remember that they drop before you, so just be patient. Just be patient like that. Try to avoid the bees if you can. There you are. Nice and easy, as long as you know what you're doing. It. Invincible, very important. Make sure you make the most of it. Run through everything and get as far as you can. That's it. Sometimes a lightning bolt will come down there. Um, you have to avoid it. It's, um, you can't, yeah, you can't kill it. But they occur in the cloud boss levels. Good. Alright, this boss should need 14 hits. Yeah, here it is. Just this platform and the boss should need 14 hits. And yeah, here's the weird music. That's it. And there's his next form. I don't know why the music is different for areas four and eight. It's just it just is. Alright, so um that's the end of um part one. I'll continue in part two. Um areas five, six and seven. So I'll just pause it when I get on to here. Right, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching part one and I'll see you in part two for areas five, six and seven and um and in part three I'll be doing areas eight, nine and ten. Um providing I have all, all the dolls needed to get up to area ten. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.